And uh, should we let Mike be the judge? He's, yeah. Is he our youngest member of the team? Yeah, Radio Mike. Yeah, Mike. He also got a half scholarship for singing at school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He understands about the pressures Perform- of performing because he had to do school choir on a half scholarship. <laughs> so he knows what it's like to step up to the plate and having, having told a room, I'm worth it. Get in a flow state. Yeah, get in a flow state. We welcome Mike in. Radio Mike. Thanks for having me. Beautiful voice. That's the kind of voice that I would give a half scholarship. (laughs) I wouldn't. I wouldn't let him have free tuition, but I'd let him. I let him sit through geography and not pay for half the class. (laughs) Mike, could you just be just so we can get into the zone here? Could you please sing Ave Maria? <laughs> no, nah, not anymore, guys. <laughs> okay, fair not enough. on scholarship anymore. Okay, yeah, fair enough, Mike. He, oh, he will sing if you pay for half. He <laughs> will his literally tuition. sing for his supper. Um, <laughs> I've ever heard anyone sing the hymn. Yeah. I understand people don't know the tunes of all hymns. Uh, like, or any. Well, I mean, you know most of them because you're in the National Boys Choir back Proud in the Corista. day. <laughs> they still are filed away. And a Mike, man of the world, Jack. And Mike, you got on a scholarship for singing carols as well. So. Yes, I had a 50% choir scholarship to my high Andy school. Andy was the choir captain in his school. <laughs> <laughs> so we know him. That vibe was the same as if someone said, oh, I, well, Bill's here and he can sing a tune. Yeah, George. Or as he's, and, and it usually Irish, in, Irish ditty. And it was always, you know, like everyone would be quiet and <laughs> Bill would like take off his hat usually, like put it on his chest. Like, I knew a girl from County Clare where her eyes were as green as her hair was fair. She winked at me in the summertime. That was the girl from County and it was nodding and drinking like, their pints. Oh, like, God, loving it. Bill's here. Absolutely love it. Going, I hope they never invent the TAB because I love this. This is my favourite thing to do of a Saturday night. You know who, who wishes they were in that time? Mike Liberale. Mike. Radio Mike. He's yeah. constantly trying to sing well for us. We yeah. get it, mate. You got a half scholarship for singing, and you it. and I reckon your singing was better back then. And I and I think because it, it, it sucks for guys like that, just born at the wrong time. Yes, yes. his hair color would be much better back then as well. A hundred years ago, just it going, might guys, have been the guy. I, I I know a I know an old Scottish ballad. Mm. Oh, well, oh by God, mine. please! Yes. This is what a treat! Yes. What a treat to have you in the room. <laughs> yeah. Now you just you don't get that. Here's a um, here's what I learned over the break. Great. And it came from something that podcast Mike told me. Is he on the show? Mm. He sung a Green Day song in his audition for a school choir. <laughs> Right. (laughs) Wow. From memory, time of your life. I think you went with American Idiot. American (laughs) Idiot. (laughs) What a no! It's got to be. What come in here? Come in here, podcast Mike. If it's American Idiot, how tough on 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 organ. (laughs) (laughs) Don't want to be an American Idiot. (laughs) Doom, doom, doom. So, Mike. Yes. Hello. First of all. First of all, am I right in saying it was American Idiot? Because Hamish uh, is just suggesting that can't be the song. It was actually the, it was from the album American Idiot. The song is called Give Me Novocaine. It's a bit more of a slow song. Oh. Right, more of an album track. <laughs> yeah, it's a, definitely a B-side. Okay. This was for the school choir where you eventually, obviously successfully achieved a half scholarship. This was actually to... for the vocal ensemble, which was, was an it? audition in year 11 and 12. Okay, Hang on, so, so you're, you're, already, you're already on a scholarship. Yeah. You're on Hang a vocal on. scholarship and they made you audition. That's offensive, isn't it? <laughs> that's, like, that's like making Brad Pitt audition for a movie. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm BP. <laughs> exactly. Throw it to me. So they've already recognised you, lessened your school fees by half based on your vocal prowess, and then they make you audition for the vocal ensemble? There were other boys at the school who were good singers but didn't have scholarships, so they had a right Ooh. to audition to be in the vocal ensemble. Did people ensemble. know you were on a scholarship? There's a, there's a, yeah. there's a reality. Yeah, okay. there's a, there is a reality show in this, for sure. <laughs> Choir Wars. <laughs> so when you walked into your audition, yeah. are you, like, thinking... Phew, this is just, you know, guys. I get paid. I get, I get no. paid for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mrs. Andreessen on the organ, hit it! <laughs> I want to be an American. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I was pretty sure I'd get in. Yeah, I think yeah. it was a you formality. Know what? <laughs> you, they couldn't not put you in either. 
I'm yeah, not saying you didn't deserve. I'm not saying you don't deserve the spot. No, I understand. They am a little bit like, because it's, it's, it would they've look, drafted you. Yeah, they, they can't have to not, play you. They can't not play you You're on the list, clogging up this. <laughs> yeah, they've used the salary cap yeah. on you. Yeah. They, have to, they have to play you. <laughs> what a terrible look for the scholarship system if you don't, if you don't, if you don't, yeah, get it. Also, Mike, when, may, what, may, what, may, what yeah, may we stuff? ask? Yeah, what when did you get the scholarship? I was in grade five, so, so year five, pre-pubic, year twelve, pre-pubic. pre-pubic. Mm. So you and you and then they still kept the scholarship all the way to year twelve. Yeah, but your singing would have been nicer younger. I don't imagine. Uh some might say that. Yeah, I, I, I think I've heard you st- now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say, some people appreciate my current voice. <laughs> but so you had an angelic soprano voice, yeah, yeah. as a boy, mm-hmm. and then obviously um, puberty wreaks its wicked ways with the male <laughs> body, and all sorts of squeaking and stuff happens. Yeah. And did you take time out of the singing game during the the, the, the transition? No, I, I sung every. Every Day. choir at the school. Did anyone ever lose their scholarship? Go through puberty. So many people lost it. Wow. Did they? What yeah. was the what was the um, review process like? Weekly? Monthly? Uh, no. Uh, semesterly, like re auditions, basically. So you'd oh, go oh, into a room, and the choir conductor would basically play you a bunch of it. chords, and you'd have to like sing the three notes in the chord just by hearing the chord. Oh. Um, and just sing and sight read music and stuff like that, and it was really intimidating. Like just you and this. Choir Massively, instructor. because if your you're mom, going home, to, if your you're, parents if you're going home, home <laughs> stop we're going home to tell mum and dad. <laughs> yeah, so it was actually B F A, <laughs> and I thought it was C sharp, D sharp, E flat. <laughs> um, so what was? So is this American Idiot? It wasn't American. It was Give, me Give me Novocaine. Give me Novocaine. Was that <laughs> edgy? Edgy song too. Was that, your off, song. was that off? Was that your go to? No, I just didn't know what song to audition. I didn't know that many songs. If you, so. if you, you didn't know any songs you were singing. <laughs> if if you had to audition for the voice now, what song are you singing? Oh, bridge over troubled water. Mm. Do you know it? Original version or um, <laughs> like you know? Would you jazz it up a bit? Because it's Simon uh, Garfunkel originally, isn't it? Yeah, it's Simon and Garfunkel. Or is Garfunkel? it just Art Garfunkel singing that? Yeah. I'm not actually sure. Or just, he bring, he, it's one of the rare songs where Garfunkel is allowed to shine. <laughs> wow, wow, okay. And He's would you just do the permission. instrumental? Actually, you know, I think I'd do Sunday Morning by Maroon 5. That's a good song. I think I'd do that. I just thought about it a bit more. <laughs> okay, Mike, thank you very much. I'm just much. imagining that you're out on the stage going, when you're weary... <laughs> Feel ac- sorry, actually, sorry. Ooh, that's why <laughs> I don't you know what Sunday, Sunday morning, morning by Maroon Five is. <laughs> Give us Sunday morning by Maroon Five, yeah. Mike. Quick, take us out. Sunday morning, rain is falling. <laughs> no chairs. <to> <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid we actually get asked for your scholarship money back from the school. <laughs> Might actually, call ask you to, Scam- <laughs> College might, here. might ask you to back pay a few semesters too. <laughs> We do oh, have. We're we do thrilled have that actually, podcast Mike is in the button pushing position because yeah. something off the top we need to discuss with you, Mike. This okay. has been this is very a great chance to get to kind of dig a bit deeper on mm. Mike related issues because mm. people would know Mike. He ducks in from time to time. Usually, if there's some sort of Japanese mega franchise <laughs> involved, whether it's Pokemon <laughs> or yeah. Nintendo or yeah. anything anything related to that world. But you also do a lot behind the scenes too. Um, we call you. Podcast, Mike, because you used to be known as Radio Mike. You also do work on Andy Show, The 100. You're really cross-platform, Mike, mm. aren't you? Mm, mm. All Multimedia. Media. Yeah. Multimedia, <laughs> Mike. <laughs> Multimedia, Mike. Multimedia, Mike. Multimedia, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. On the very first show we had, back this year, we had things we'd learned. Yes. Mm. And and I'd learned that you sung Green Day in your audition. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> for, at high school, at, at, give me Novocaine. G- yeah, for a c- choral group, vocal uh, ensemble. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like the fact that you had a half scholarship mm-hmm. for singing at school, it's part of your identity, isn't it? I think so. It's so a foundational are. part of my identity. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it would have. No, like first... I don't think about it a lot. Just so, only on this show, really, do you I think about you it. You don't wake up and go. You got this. <laughs> Each morning in the mirror and you go, well, I mean, oh, that, that paid for me. It was probably the first time, though, you could equate performing with financial reward. Yeah. Mm. And then, not, a lot, yeah. not a lot of 13-year-olds can do that. 
And then s- every True. semester mm-hmm. you get re uh, tested. Yeah, that was the, that was that shocked us, didn't it? That was yeah. on the first show where and you were e- like, even through your pubescent e- era where your voice changed, you were still good enough to receive the half scholarship. Yeah, I was told I had a really good gear shift, which is where you can change between the the boy soprano voice to a prepubic. Post pubic. Yeah. <laughs> right. it was, well, they called it gear shift. <laughs> sure. You can't say pubic too much around. I imagine as a high school teacher without it you know, beginning to feel like you should be finding another word. Um, it shocked me this week, Mike, mm-hmm. when I found out that a good friend of mine, Tyson, it's also a DJ called DJ Generic, also went to your school oh. and was also on a scholarship for singing. Oh, my brother knows him. Does he? Okay. I think. <laughs> I think. Okay. You guys, I think he joins us now. Would you wow. mind putting, okay. putting, putting us through? Um, are you worried that he's going to come in and steal your thunder? No, I, I'd love to chat to him. Okay. That sounds interesting. Nice. What do you guys call each other? Um, like, you know, scholarship, the, scholar, the choral scholarship holders. Do you, do you have a fun name? Like, you know, the semi-quavers or like, did you have a... <laughs> Did you have a like a name? You used to call them choir chums, actually. We yeah. used to call them choir chums. Choir yeah. chums. <laughs> An Is exclusive, I think. You saw <laughs> CH on choir and thought it sounded like chums, like CH on chums. Yeah. It, I guess so, you yeah. You don't really, you know. A, you don't have any, you, I mean, yeah, I don't have any chums from other activities in my life, like not too many. <laughs> hey, I was just in the pub chum. with one of my beer chums. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, hey, Tyson joins us now. Uh, ahoy to you, Tyson. Ahoy, boys. Good on you, Tyson. <laughs> um, <laughs> and we believe we've got a choir chum for you here. Um, choir chum, Mike. Hey, Tyson. How are you? I'm good, Mike. How are you doing? Really well. Now, first question I'd like to know, Ty, is were you on a full scholarship or a half scholarship? Well, when I first started in grade five in 97, I was on a quarter, Ooh. and then it then it moved <laughs> so up. They're frugal, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, I know. And then and then they've moved yeah. up to a half. Really? So that is that because you reckon they weren't getting the type of voices they needed just for a quarter offering? Yeah, definitely. It was it was a scam. Like it was a lot of work for not much reward. Did yeah. you or did you outperform, and you were at risk of being poached by another school? Yeah, and they had to increase their salary cap a bit to keep you <laughs> and put you on a half. As much as I'd like to lie and say, yes, that was the, the correct response, no, it was just, uh, I think I just wanted to give back to a little bit yep. more to the boys that were doing so well, for singing for God. Because you do, <laughs> <laughs> well, and he would appreciate it. You do, hear, <laughs> you do hear all those stories. I mean, it's just, it's such a well-worn story of, you know, there's the kid in year six, yeah. you've got the choir scouts from another school sitting the parents <laughs> down, hey, we want to poach this qu- chorister, there's huge money in choirs, who do we go with? So there you go, Mike. I wanted to see if someone had out-scholarshiped you, but no, mm. they're all on half. Because yep. Mike, Tyson, Mike's... Um, uh, asset, he, he ascertains he's stuck by this the whole time because we would say, oh, you obviously weren't that good at singing you're on a half scholarship. <laughs> and he claims, no, 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 that is the maximum amount of scholarship mm. that you could get yep. for singing work. Now, can I add another, can I throw another cat amongst the pigeons here? <laughs> Go for it. I was recently at the pub with a beer chum of mine <laughs> <laughs> whose name uh, is PK. Now, you guys might know PK, former head of your school, former head I do boy. Indeed. Tyce, do you know PK? Oh, you guys would have been well. at similar year level. I don't. And I asked him, I knew this chat was coming up, and I said, hey, quick question about high school. One of our friends, Mark, was on a half scholarship. He's like, oh, congratulations. Yeah. Like, yeah, good. But could you get more than that? Hmm. What did he say? He said, look, I think you could. <laughs> But, but not for singing. No, and that's what I So I pressed him, Mike, and I said, and I said, yeah, but maybe you're thinking of sports or or, or, yeah, or academic. Yeah. He goes, no, I think you could get fools for all available. And that's from a head boy, Mike. Tyson, what do you think about that? Uh, well, considering that when you were talking to PK, it was probably uh, in an inebriated state, I think his uh, recollection of events might be slightly oh, okay. mistaken. So some pushback here. Yeah. Some but, pushback here from the choir chums. But I <laughs> I mean, a head boy, day, a school captain outranks the choir chums, I would have thought, in terms of testimony we can believe. Yeah, but you well, can't even, know every scholarship, can you, as head boy? Yeah, I think it's your job. <laughs> there's there's lots of us out there, so any choir chums listening, if you're on a full scholarship, ride in, prove me wrong. <laughs> okay, okay, that'd be nice. I'd love to see 
piece of alpha choir chart. Do you know what? And I, and I, and I, real, I hope people can understand what I'm trying to say here. I hope we don't get our emails flooded by people making very convincing cases. They went to high school with you guys and saying they're on a full scholarship. Okay, so that's yeah. not what we want. No. We don't want to have to be sifting through those Fake and re- reading no, them out on the no, show. No. <laughs> um, Tyson, did you have yes. to re-audition semesterly to yeah. retain the that, scholarship? That is That curious. seemed like it was a bit of a, a Pinocchio. Absolutely never. Oh, never at all. Bombshell. Never had to do that. It was once once you're in, we were in. Wow. wow. And did you go through to year 12? Yes, I did. Oh, there you go. Yes. Well, I'm, look, hand on heart, every semester, all of us. I spoke to a couple Might choir be- chums during the week and they were like, yeah, I remember having to do that. Well, what year did you finish, Mike? 2012. What year did you finish, Tyson? 04. Got, it's got more competitive. So it's got more competitive. In the so eight years. Some, somewhere in that eight years, <laughs> the school's singing. gone. Yeah. Hey, you know what's fun? Yeah. Making these guys shit themselves <laughs> for their spot. <laughs> let's get it in daily. Let's get in. Let's 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 invent words like gear shift and see how you know. <laughs> let's get in their head. Let's okay, <laughs> final oh one, gosh. Tyson. Yep. If you were on a scholarship, did it? Guarantee your position in any other choir, yeah. uh, or did you have to audition? Uh, or and, and what was the audition? What was your function? You what was your, fun- you what was your to- quartet? Uh, the, the, no, it was the senior vocal ensemble. That's not, right. not a quartet. Yeah, senior like, vocal ensemble. People, I, uh, Sorry, uh, I thought it was like the B sharps. M- <laughs> Mike reckons that he had to audition. I was saying that there's no way if they're spending money on singers that they're not going to include them because they look bad. Yeah, it's, it's mud on their face if they don't make it. So Mike just probably got sifted through. Uh, backdoored. Um, Tyson, is that a fair assumption? Yeah, I, we didn't have to audition for the senior choir mm. um, at all. We were It was actually compulsory that as um, yep. cathedral choir members, you had to do the senior choir, which was on Wednesday afternoons. Mm-hmm. And the interesting part about Mike's that not was... Mike's not just fist bumping. <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> Vance Joy it. and Chet Faker mm. were actually in the senior choir. They volunteered yeah. their time and effort. And I distinctly remember telling them what are they doing they're wasting their time they're going to do nothing with singing and uh so Vance yeah, Joy and Chet like Faker were at your school and neither of them were on a scholarship for singing no, neither <laughs> you've got to question the scouts you've got to question the scouts and Mike won't even pump out three bars of Green Day for us for the song now meanwhile wow. Vance Joy's selling out international tours yes. Chet Faker's doing well as well <laughs> The scouts are off. Oh, they're oh, well rubbish. off. Yeah. They're rubbish. <laughs> they're rubbish. They're rubbish. Because look at the two the two guys that they did give scholarships to have gone and made a career out of pressing buttons. Mm. You've got Mike pressing buttons over here. <laughs> yeah. You've got you guys and international DJ pressing <laughs> buttons over in your corner. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So they they've they understood some boys like music <laughs> <laughs> and and have an ear for melody, yeah. just can't produce it with their mouths. <laughs> Yet other boys at the school could produce it with their mouths yeah. and they went under the radar. <laughs> Thanks, Ty. See oh, you, buddy. No problems, guys. <laughs> See you, man. Bye. Hey, um, anywhere in the world. We've got a surprise um, into an investigation that has been ongoing. We yeah. had this part listed as nothing at the top of the show because we wanted to keep it from our producer friend Mike out there. Mysteriously black. Podcast Mike, come on in. Multi-platform he's, Mike. He's sighed. He's rolled his eyes. <laughs> he, knows what this is, he knows what this is about. How many How many walks like that do you think you've done into the studio, Mike, where you're like, I roll, here we go. Okay, what's this about? Mike, welcome. Hello. Mike. <laughs> Obviously. A lot of gusto. I'll give you that <laughs> Plenty of gusto off the bat. Mike, the very first show this year, we talked about you being on a scholarship and that you uh, performed a Green Day song yep. in your audition for Vocal Ensemble. Couldn't More believe you had to audition considering you yep. were getting paid to be there mm. by the school. We think it was perfunctionary that people that um, were on scholarships were automatically going to get in. Yep. Turns out that wasn't the case for more. Why would you make Michael Jordan prove that he's a good basketball <laughs> player between championships three and four? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sorry, coach. I just assumed I was in the team. No, no, no. We you um, must audition. <laughs> we had DJ Generic on last week. Tyson O'Brien, who also got a scholarship at. Yeah, uh, you may have missed that, Jack, because you were tendering to Gordon, but also got a uh, a scholarship. Uh, a full or a half. 
Uh, they can only give halves, apparently. He started on a quarter. Yeah. Like, that was the interesting <laughs> part. It went up Mate. to a half. What, what do they go down to? <laughs> what we <laughs> learned was that they keep the Coral students absolutely starving <laughs> and feed them crumbs of scholarship <laughs> to keep them going. Yeah. So, You've earned another day at school. <laughs> yeah, it's basically like playing time extension on Daytona back in the day, and you're always five seconds to go. Sing for your learning. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, you had to sit in maths class holding a note, and if you took a breath, they started opening the door <laughs> to kick you out. Uh, so this is a couple of weeks back, Jack, when you have your break. Since then, someone else has come forward. <laughs> he was a choir chum because we learned also that that Mike and his troop and his gang were called choir chums, I mean, and he's put his hand up and said, <laughs> I was a choir chum, yep. and we and hate you, and you, and you you, you, Mike put the call out, didn't he? He yeah. said, you know, he put the bat signal up. He said, quiet chums, chums unite. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, you turned our show into chums group. <laughs> People were complaining in the emails that, Hamish, you said you don't have any chums. Mm. And then they were like, but what about chums group? They were offended yeah, well, by that. The yeah. world is chums. Yeah. I know. I think, wasn't I talking about how I've got quite a few beer chums <laughs> yeah. that I go to the, go to the um, pub with? Someone's come forward. His quiet name's chum. Sam. And he uh, said he hated the scholarship. Oh, what was guys. that noise, Mike? What was that noise? Isn't it not the noise of a chum? <laughs> <laughs> said he hated the scholarship boys, which which was yeah. seems strange to me to be a part of a group called chums, mm. but there's underlying hatred Hate in between through. some members. Sam, ahoy to you. Ahoy, boys. How you going? Yeah, good. Now, Sam, were you, were you in the same era? We've heard of scholarship boys from 10 years apart. Were you in the same year level as Mike? I was just a couple above Mike. Really? Um, yeah, yeah. So him and, and his brother it was in my level, and they both looked the same, sound the same. Was your brother also on a scholarship, Mike? Yes, he was on a 50% ah. as well. So that's why they gave it to you. They, they <laughs> always do that. They feel Father bad son, they brother, brother. Feel bad for <laughs> the younger, <laughs> younger sibling, and they go, oh. I'm going to see what. So, okay, Sam, in your <laughs> professional opinion, because you were a quiet chum, who was the better singer out of, out of Mike and his – what's Mike's brother's name? What's his brother's name? Dan. Dan. Mike and Dan. Uh, look, I, I think Mike had a better gear change. Um, as we call it. <laughs> yeah. Hand so, of puberty better. But, w- like, we absolutely like, – look, this is, I knew this would come back to haunt me. I reluctantly admitted this because um, I crossed paths with Andy a couple of times, mainly the smokers area of a few pubs. <laughs> and Not true. I've, I've Gasp, tried to, gasping chumps. I, I, I knew it would come back to haunt me, but I had to come forward because, yes, I was a choir chum, mm. but I hated those scholarship kids because they just had this, Mike and his brother, they just had this air of arrogance. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, still got they'd it. They'd always be at the front talking to the choir master going, oh, should we do, should we do that seven time on you? Oh, no, we only learned that in the scholarship choir. <laughs> we turned back to the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Trying to bring elite stuff back down to club level. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is that can alienate the, do you the, the think, general chum group. Sam, did you go for a scholarship? <laughs> okay. Well, I didn't want to say this either. But, yes, my mum made me do the same thing as Mike when I was at 10. <laughs> yeah. She sent me to do all these tests to try to get a scholarship. Um, but, where they, you know, they play a single note on piano and you have to match it. So they go la and you sing... La, and like, right, sounds beautiful. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't get one. You've still, you've, you've still got it. <laughs> My mum was waiting out there, you know, 10 grand on the line, and I come out and yeah. go, oh, I did, I did la. It, it, oh. <laughs> yeah, you're like changing line. early. It, <laughs> right. it is, it does seem like uh, to the parents that are clued in on it, mm. it's sort of like winning a radio contest. The, the word would have gone around going, hey, if you can make your kid do la properly, yeah. that's 10 grand. <laughs> it's 10 grand. It's, yeah. it's like far better odds than yeah. a radio contest because there can be many winners per year level. Well, but on, on the subject of them being so harsh and they did quarters and halves, they told me that they were letting in 10 people and they said, bad luck, you're 11th. And oh, that, that, so that was it. is that a good – maybe they said that to, to the other 40 <laughs> people that came in 11th. Um, or well, the, I wouldn't I mean, be surprised yeah. from what I've learning uh, learning about this school. If they said, okay, well, you know, we've got 10 scholarships, guys, but we're letting in five more who can steal. So <laughs> they're, they're, they're going to go against you like they're yeah. the intruders because yeah. we're running it. Battle, like battle a around on the show. voice. Yeah. Um, so do you think, Sam, that you just fluffed it on the day and you are a better singer than Mike? Uh, but Mike's got a bit of – he's got good pitch. 
he's got good pitch, I'll give him that. But, Gee, you know, just I guess he's... I'd be a bit of a more a raw front man. I'll be the bad boy of the vocal ensemble. <laughs> the bad boy of the vocal ensemble. Mike, how do you feel about Never that? Never has there been a less intimidating <laughs> bad boy in the history. Watch of out, life. this guy litters. <laughs> Oh, the late one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Watch out. This guy can come in with a pretty weak excuse as to why he's two minutes late. <laughs> uh, Mike, any comment on any of that? Well, Sam, I'm not sure if you remember this, but probably about 10 years ago, you returned to the school as a graduate to sing in the graduates ensemble. <laughs> You sung a solo in the Left. song. What was the song? Angels right by Zena. Robbie Williams. And, and you sung, oh, she offers me protection. That was you. And nice I pitch. came up to you that day. I was in year 12 and I said, hey, man, you were awesome today. And that's coming from a scholarship choir boy. That must have meant the world to you. <laughs> and you come on this show <laughs> and you trust me in my workplace. I can't believe that. And I retract my comment from 10 oh, years ago. No. <laughs> you did a terrible job. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just, if we that's started with the suspicion the that hate there is song. hate within the chums, <laughs> it has been proved. If there are any <laughs> other choir chum stories out there, please come forward. <laughs> Samuel, thank you so Thanks, much. Sam. Sorry that you just got absolutely just one two to pieces there in the final round. But I've hung up the tunic, but now I might have to bring it back out, come out of yep. retirement. Dust well, it off. Let's hear some Robbie we, Williams. You know what we need oh, to do. You know, this year, this year is absolutely, seems like it's heading to some sort of choir off, doesn't it? <laughs> choir yeah. off. We'll ask Tyson whether he wants yeah. back in. Yeah. And I think. I mean, Fire was, Festival wasn't a hit. What about Choir <laughs> Festival? <laughs> <laughs> we get an island somewhere we need, and we get these boys on to, to be sing under, it out. They need to be under pressure, so we definitely need a yeah. crowd and we'll book yep. a venue, probably small, yeah. but we will have... Trial by choir. Trial by choir. So and I'm just workshopping some choir fire names here. And <laughs> then keep going. we need... Well, we'll work on the professionals that, that, that yeah. come to judge this thing. <laughs> and I'd love to know... Um, Where's the crowd voted? From the old... The old... Um, principal or whoever is in charge of it, what tests they were doing to try and make people keep their scholarships because maybe just a similar run <laughs> test would be interesting. Yeah. Do you know uh, what? Mm-hmm. What if we did a thing where it was like, you know, this like trial by choir, whatever it is, you start the night, you know, someone's got like a necklace, like a gold, like an idol necklace on, that's yeah. the scholarship. Yeah. But it just keeps getting stolen and won. Yeah, and, um, each round. You know, there can be thing. only one scholarship yeah. at the end of the night. I think we become the principals, Andy. I think we've got a pretty good <laughs> yeah, that's true. take on how to run these kids. Depending on how many because you come forward, be good to keep eliminate. Them hungry, yeah, keep them hungry, keep them fighting. Yeah, agreed. But depending on how many come forward, it'd be good to eliminate some people as we go, put, yes. out, put out there. Candle. Snuff them. Not a torch. Snuff their candle. <laughs> Snuff <laughs> their church candle. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sam. We'll organise. Thanks, boy. Hey, a letter came into our possession this week, and it's to mm-hmm. do with the ongoing choir off that's happening. Uh, come in here at Radio Mike, Podcast Mike, Choir well, Chum Mike. We uh, are, um, like, we... We're trying to get to, um, what are we getting to the bottom of here? I mean, there's just been so many things. Well, I guess we're examining Mike, who works with us, his career as a high school student, which was funded by his singing, yep. both as a high-voiced boy mm-hmm. and a low-voiced pubescent boy after he went through his gear change, as they call it in the choir game, and um, nature weaved its low-voiced magic on him. You know, what And we he was should... still able to keep his half scholarship, I think, all the way through to year 12. You know what we should do? We should get what's your what's your Mike? Welcome, but what's uh, Hi, Mike. what are your parents' names? Uh, Tony. My dad's name's Tony. Yeah. My yeah. mum's name is Antonella. Antonella oh, and and Tony. So Tony. yeah, they were, both, <laughs> they were actually <laughs> both Tonys growing up, and mum had to kind of forego being called Tony because she married another Tony. Oh. Two, two parent Tony. <laughs> two foot Tony. <laughs> it's a two foot Tony. It's a four foot Tony. <laughs> Conjoined, wow. they're a four foot Tony. Okay. Well, okay. So that's a huge sacrifice from Tony, your mum. I'm going to respect yeah. her original name. Absolutely. And your dad's now the T man to me. <laughs> <laughs> but I like that she's anti Tony too, like yeah. Antoinelle yeah. and Tony. Yeah. <laughs> um, like matter and antimatter touching. In coming weeks, I feel like we should get them on, one of them Absolutely. on. Absolutely. 
just to see how important the scholarship was to them. Sure. Well, I assume I assume we're going to finish the year with a musical based on this saga. Well, a choir. Yeah, where, <laughs> where, where <laughs> Mike, the choir. Yeah, that's true. Where Mike sings his own role and we'll get them to play themselves. <laughs> <laughs> so we are forging towards a choir off because more choir, scholarship choir people have come out of the woodwork. Hamishnee.com. Um, uh, Tyson, who was on, uh, he has texted me and said he's in for the choir off. Sam uh, was the last person that uh, said he was in. So at least we've got three competitors. This is a letter from, who's Dr. Cox? He was one of the choir conductors. Hmm. And as it says... <laughs> not, a, po- not a medical doctor either, no, I would assume. A musical one. <laughs> yeah, but not a bad, doctor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My prognosis <laughs> is negative. <laughs> musical doctor. And look, you got to have them. It's a tough yeah. industry, so you got to have the docs at the top. Yeah. But, it, but it is one of those things where, you know, there is a feel... There's a group of doctors where you... You know, you know on, some on are, a plane, some are than others. If, if someone's yelling at us, anyone a doctor here. I mean, yeah. He's Andy not grabbing the, keyboard, <laughs> grabbing the keyboard and running to the front. <laughs> what, what kind of music do you need for this heart attack? Yeah, saxophone probably. <laughs> Stand back. <laughs> I've got to get the pipe right on the heart. Um, Dr. Jeffrey Cox, it says, <laughs> Ham, that he, under it, it says organist as his first thing he writes. Again, that's something he would muck around with people like, you know, oh, so you're a doctor. Well, I deal with the organs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Have you met, have you met Dr. Cox? What a man. Uh, yes. Organist uh, and director of music. Same thing happened at my school. The guy that could play the organ really walked around <laughs> thinking he was King Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Not like, too many spots. Uh, you Not play too many spots feet, outside. You, organ, <laughs> yeah, you, you play with your feet and your hands. Yes, we get it. Sure. It's the... It's the <laughs> It's the rowing machine of, um, <laughs> of instruments. It's a real full body workout. <laughs> um, Mike. Yes. Your parents have been sent this. It says, Dear Mr. and Mrs. Liberale. Sorry, above that it says, Require Scholarship 2009. Now, they would have opened this and seen Require Scholarship 2009 and gone, Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And the thing, Mike, you, you showed this. We, we, we saw this. Mm. It's like the, the 22nd of December. Yeah. So... The, the evil doctor has waited, <laughs> has let you guys sweat yeah. all through the Christmas present shopping period yeah. to go, are the school fees taken care of next year? Are they not? Like, can we afford this? Can we get Mikey's bike? Because I yeah. assume, Mike, you didn't audition on the 21st to, like, sing your, because you had to, according to your side of the story, you had to audition every few months to, like, let them know you still had what it took. So why did they make you wait and sweat it out? Because the last thing you would sing at as part of your obligations was a Christmas Day thing. So you would get this. Basically, it was a Christmas present to tell you whether or not you got the scholarship so for another year. So there would be year. kids rocking up that didn't get a scholarship the next year still having to perform. <laughs> no, you'd get it at the end. <laughs> Oh, you get, so you get handed this letter <laughs> at the end of the last day of the year. So hang on, yeah. this was written on the 22nd, but it wasn't it's given to you, to you on the 25th. What are you guys on your on Christmas on day? You go to a school sing along? Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's a pretty big day. I don't know if you know the origins of Christmas or not, Ando, but it's quite heavily featured in the church. Yeah, so yeah. they might have had. They might have. Uh, yeah, this Jesus. is how they get you, mate. You, there's right. no such thing as a free lunch. Um, <laughs> Jesus, as I said, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus got a bad name for the kid. All right, yeah, I don't know who said that, but that's what we're calling him. <laughs> Dear Mr. and Mrs. Liberale, following the annual performance review for holders of Cathedral Choir Scholarships, I am pleased to inform you that Michael's scholarship is confirmed to continue for 2009. When they saw that word, I am pleased, they would have been going, yeah, absolutely. Get the the good pudding. (laughs) (laughs) Just put extra coins in it. (laughs) (laughs) Mike, what year did you finish school? 2012. Oh, so, so this is early days. Early days. This is this is ten days after my fourteenth birthday. Right. So it would have been fourteen. So huge! What a December! What an absolute yeah. December for you! You're singing on Christmas Day. You're working on Christmas Day. Yeah. You, you mean? So there are kids that would do the gig on Christmas Day, <laughs> then get fired. Yeah. That day. yeah. Essentially, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, it's like, well, thanks for your work. We won't have you back next year. Basically. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> Jeepers. 
brutal, brutal oh, Christmas. That's the worst day of singing you could ever have, is it? You've ruined my Christmas day. Anyway. How could you tell on? when they handed you the letter, Mike, um, if you'd made it or not? No, you weren't allowed to open it because it was for your parents. You were just supposed to hand it to your parents in, sure. and then they'd relay the message to you. Quite clearly addressed to the two Tonys. Because yeah. <laughs> in, 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 <laughs> in, in baseball, they just put a red ticket in your locker. Mm. Is that how you know you've been cut? Yeah, so I thought you might have gone back to take off your robe and <laughs> <laughs> sit just in the dressing room. There's a melted <laughs> candle or something <laughs> to <just> signify <laughs> that you're out. <laughs> it then goes on to say, hey, Michael has been in the Alto line for the whole of 2008. And, mm. I mean, your parents would have given, you would have given your parents regular update, updates, so they would have known this. And I greatly value his contribution. He still has a very comfortable Alto range and is simultaneously developing what should turn out to be a very pleasant tenor voice. <laughs> That's pleasant. Go, go goal right. of all. Go, <laughs> <laughs> go the goal of all enthusiasts, yeah, just yeah. to nail the pleasants. Yeah. How, how, was, how was the gig last night? Did you see Culpa? Pleasant. Yeah, they were pleasant. Very pleasant. Very pleasant. Very pleasant. <laughs> yeah, really good. Very, His very pleasant. management of the, in quotation marks, gear change mm-hmm. between the two is remarkably good. Yeah. What's the that, gear? Why is gear change in quotation marks? And what do they mean, Mike? Because gear change, as I, I mentioned it in a We've previous discussed set, this. it's um, the change between your boy voice to your False quote man. unquote man voice. No, no, no. Yeah. It's, a, it's a puberty, it's a puberty yeah. gear change. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's this. Uh, yeah, it's that. That's the gear change. And yeah. I didn't use any clutch there, so you could hear the gears changing. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Mike, exactly. Mike is able to execute his gear change, but it sounds like with a double clutch. So Can't say, even tell. Are they saying... He's hit you, puberty. You've, you've done puberty well. It was yeah. basically saying, like, you're at this point where you're, you're, like, starting to develop a deeper voice and you can kind of, mm. in your singing, you can kind of shift between... Pre and post pubic. God, <laughs> what a player. <laughs> <laughs> yes, like a superhero. <laughs> when, my, when, my, when Mike eats a banana, he becomes post pubic. <laughs> yeah, uh, so this is a nice way of them saying, you might have noticed Mike spending a lot more time in his bedroom. <laughs> well, that's fine, but uh, we just want you to know on the, on the singing field where it counts, he's able to still do what we need him to do. deliver. <laughs> Michael has a good musical ear. And his slight is and his sight reading skills are excellent. Yep. His attitude and reliability remain very commendable. And that's continued throughout my life, I think. <laughs> <laughs> this like, yeah. for me, I think if you, if you guys were to write one of these, that would be reflected as well. <laughs> my, my, <laughs> refl- my report for you would be mysteriously his gear changes return. <laughs> <laughs> Just he's, when I'm nervous. He's, he's, he seems to transition to a higher voice sometimes, although we were assured by his high school the gear change was complete. This is amazing. Well, thanks, Mike. Uh, that's, Mike. That's covered off everything that, that I this did. Does, this, yeah, this does add weight to your side of the story that you were indeed um, racking up those sweet half scholarships year after year after year and doing what it took, even working gigging on Christmas Day. So what year did you start high school? I started high school in 2007. Okay, so I, this was yeah. this is you to get into your third year. No, because I started that scholarship in 2005 when I was in grade five. Oh, so it was a yeah. seven year. I got you a little, a little year leak. Win, windfall. Yeah, I, I've like, got it. I had another email that came in my side of the fence, mm. um, Mike. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to say the guy's name. He goes. And and, the, and it's very upbeat. The guy's like, hey, hope is all well. Hey, I was also in the choir with Libba. Um, <laughs> he told you to get in touch. He, um, he told me to get in touch with you guys as well. I've had huge success from that choir. I'm actually a professional opera singer now. And I, I owe all my experiences to that choir as being a major factor in the career I'm now on. And I just read this and went, this is so Mike emailing the show <laughs> oh, no, himself, <laughs> James but someone. But if it's not... When he says, when he's he like, says, I'm very t- happy to discuss. When okay, said, I'm going to be honest. When you said you told him, he's, he's told it, don't go around telling no, people to contact him. Because no, I felt nothing. like you were giving scholarship kids a hard time. And I saw, oh, yeah. I remember James was, on, <laughs> James was on a singing scholarship. He's now an opera singer. And I said, hey, man, if you respect your scholarship, it would be wrong for you not to get in touch with the show. <laughs> To show them what a success you can be so on, a, on a scholarship. Like lobbying behind the scenes. I mean, this, well, this just stinks of Mike he, writing he's an opera this himself. He, I saw him on TV. Yeah. I was like, well, what? We can't listen to what he's had to say. He's been, he's been corralled by you behind the scenes. 
Mike, thanks. <laughs> right. uh, we if look you, forward to the choir off. And, I mean, is Libba going to be in the choir off? Well, you probably don't want him in there. No, no, he's saying Mike was Libba. Mike's Libba. Oh, sorry. That's, that's why I thought Mike had written this himself because he's given himself a cool nickname <laughs> in his own email. Oh, sorry, of course. <laughs> What's his bloke's name? James. Is James. James Emerson. Will he be in the choir? You don't want him in the choir off. I don't mind. The more the merrier. Do we hold it on Christmas Day to see if they still care? <laughs> <laughs> I made a mistake. That's the reality of this situation. I, that is very big of you. I made a mistake, and the truth is I failed year nine science and stopped science at school. Oh, it's one of those levels. We should have put some mu- music behind that. <laughs> I didn't realise it was going to turn into a sob yeah. story. Continue it's the good. story. Continue, this is this is now this is podcast. very rich. This is rich. Oh, I failed year nine science. I cheated off a guy called Michael Perks oh, and got no. caught, and oh. they gave me a fail for the whole year. And did you really? Yeah. Because um, I was, all, I was notoriously did, did, bad at science. Did they remove you were on a scholarship? No. Yeah, you're on a scholarship. <laughs> half scholarship, Ando. Half, half scholarship. No, yeah. they were unrelated. There's, yeah, they, they didn't remove the But surely there would be a clause in the singing scholarship um, yeah, you that you had, to, you had to be of good character. Yeah, you might have brought all the, brought all the other choralists into disrepute. <laughs> What can I say? Is. Maybe I was just that. Or maybe I was just that good at singing that they they just did. Can't keep this kid out. No <laughs> one does. No one. No one cranks out of him like this kid. <laughs> We've got to keep him like a star footballer who's playing up on the weekend. <laughs> Come on, ten strike policy. <laughs>